Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 19 of my Wing Not Wing Sop with Dolphin build. If you're watching this, then if you can give the video a like, that'd be brilliant, thank you. Firstly, I'm going to start by removing all the masking tape to see how we've got on. So, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. I'm really chuffed with how this has come out. It's looking really nice. Even if I say so myself, which I do. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, time to remove all the foam. There we go, that's all the foam removed. Now, let's crack on and paint the pipes to the radiator. So. Here goes. Oh yes, I also had to do the caps that could be seen. That's those parts done. Now to move on to the foot and hand grabs. I'm going to be painting the edges of these silver. Watch the silver closely and see how it's running along the panel line. Bloody typical. When you want it to do that, it doesn't. Paint was too thin anyway. Right, time for a quick clean up. See, we all make mistakes. Okay, that's had enough time to dry. Now to cover it over with some olive drab. There's the first coat of olive drab on. I'll need to add another one later. Now to get the radiator grills painted. So let's crack on. It also calls for the undercart supports to be painted black as well. Right, there's the undercut supports painted up. Now for some touch-ups. Oi, cheap seats. No. We'll clean up. Yeah, that's a better phrase. We'll clean up the grey on the underside. So, let's crack on. There we go, that's the clean up of the grey done. Now to crack on with getting the control arms on the rear tail sorted. I was going to recast this part but thought, nah, can't be bothered. So 
What I did was drilled out the places where they go, popped some jewellery wire in, 28 gauge I think, through there, proceeded to glue them and trim them down. Jobs are good. There we go. Well, I'll tell you what, they're not coming off in a hurry. <laughs> Famous last words. Anyway, now I'm going to finish off something I should have finished earlier, the undercut. I forgot to paint part of the suspension. That was easy for me to say. So, let's crack on. That's done. Quick check around to see if I've missed anything. Yeah, you know I have, and I'll have to come back to it. But I can't see it at the moment, so hey. Right, now for a clean up. Ha, nerdy nerd. Some of the silver work. There we go, that's the silver work cleaned up. Quick check around, looking good to me. Now for the controls on a tail. Make sure they're glued nice and tight. Remember what I said earlier. And then we're gonna give them a tweak with a pair of round nose pliers just to give them the right shape. So, should we crack on? Remember those famous last words? Yeah, they did. And they needed gluing again. Oh well, that's those controls done on the rear tail. Now, onto my favorite thing, rigging. I personally find it very, very therapeutic to sticking line to metal. Sounds boring as hell, but I love it for some reason. Anyway, let's crack on with this glorious rigging and get this tail done. That's the rigging on the tail done. Now to drill some more holes in the wing roots. These go straight through to the undercut. I was a bit nervous about doing these as they went in at an angle and I didn't want to come out in the wrong spot. So here goes. And there we are through. Phew, that came out in the right place. That was lucky. Now for the second one. Let's see how this one goes.
That went a lot quicker. I'm quite chuffed with those two. Now for a little paint. I'm just going to give the lower wing aileron controls a quick splash of paint. That's those done. Now for the noses of the bombs. So, let's get these cracked. And there we have it. All four bombs done in double quick time. You've got to love this speedy uppy thing. Wish you had it in real life. Anyway, now on to deckling the upper wing surface. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, you know something's going to go wrong. So, what went wrong? If you saw at the start of the deckling section, the upper surface roundels were an unusual shape. They were designed to slide between the main wing and the aileron. Because the model is so well made, there was not enough room for this. What I should have done was painted these two parts separately, and then it would have been fine. Oh well, I now know better for next time. Anyway, on that bum note, Thank you for watching episode 19. If you want to see what happens in episode 20, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.